different kind of video. Today I'm bringing you on a bit of a day in the life of, I guess. This is the kind of stuff that I get up to. I guess a little bit outside of YouTube. It is early morning, it's eight o'clock on a Sunday. Normally, I like to take things like the ABAF 695 70th Anniversario to places like car meets. Me, my wife, and my little dog, who you can see peeking over there, hello mate. And he is uh, pretty much fully engaged for a good walk. So, the reason I wanted to make this video is because He's actually really good in this car. So if you kind of pan down there, you'll be able to see that he's got himself his little dog seat and he actually pretty much loves the Abar 695 70th Anniversario. Now, when we first picked him up, we got him in the Audi RS6, which obviously is a much more comfortable car. It's larger, it's more quieter. This, a little bit more Asbo, you know, as, as many of you guys know who own Abars, is quite loud, it's quite bumpy. So it was always interesting to know whether or not my dog would actually enjoy this car. But it seems to me that with that dog seat, he is pretty much chilled out and he loves it. So where we're going now, we are in Windsor. It's our local area and we're about to go take the dog for a walk. Um, and I'll talk to you a little bit more about whether, you know, what he feels about this car and also some plans about what we're going to be doing, I guess, hopefully, fingers crossed, towards the end of the year uh, that you guys should find very interesting from a content perspective. I'll give you a rough update on where I am with my own car and we'll go for a walk together. You guys haven't seen him since the collection video. So look how much he's grown. He's what? How old are you now? You're four months old, aren't you? He is literally, he's about seven kilos now as well. Yes, I know. He is absolutely massive and he's still got a long way to grow. You can see by the size of his paws, he's got a lot to fill out. And whilst we're here, Rolo can do a little walk around of the 695. So for those who aren't aware, if this is the first video watching of mine, this is Rolo, my French Bulldog. This is the Abarth 695 70th Anniversario. 1.4 litre turbocharged, 180 horsepower. It's a limited run, so there's only 1,949 cars, but it is very, very cool. If you guys come around with us here, you'll be able to see. So it's in that lovely Monza green, which I think looks really nice. We get the very nice kind of black super sport wheels with the Brembo brakes. Do you like those? Do you like, are we winning? Yeah? He's not interested whatsoever. Um, I do like it. I really do like it and now I've had this for the best part of but well, just over two months I've enjoyed every minute driving it and of course super grateful to Abarth UK because they've given me this as a long-term loaner car but I think this guy here right now just wants to go for a walk so <laughs> oh what a munchkin he is such a cool little guy I'm not gonna lie having a puppy is hard work it is really hard work isn't it there you go <laughs> I think one of the things that we, when we got here, one of the things that we definitely underestimated when we got him was the amount of effort that needs to go in here. And I know there's gonna be dog owners watching this now going, yep, I know I've gone through exactly that. But you have to invest so much time in these little guys for obedience training and all that fun stuff. And we're getting there slowly, but he's got a long way to go. He's got a lot of socializing to do. There's another Abarth over there. There's a lot of socializing that needs to be done. Cool. So for those, for those who own Frenchies, you'll know this anyway, but um, Frenchies suffer from extreme cold, extreme heat. It's pretty useless really. You need to be at that optimum temperature. A bit like a car, I guess. Um, so we, when you're doing long walks like this, particularly because he's got little legs and he's still a little pup, we just make sure we bring water with us all the time just to keep him hydrated. But for now, we're gonna go for a walkie, right? And, um, one of the things that we found with him actually was quite hilarious. Now he's really good. When he sees the harness, he knows what time it is. He knows his walk time. Come on, walkies. There you go. He knows what time it is. But when we first got him, it was really hard. Like I said earlier on, puppyhood is hard. And uh, we're still learning every day. So the thing with him as well, and the Abarth 695 70th Anniversario, is, um, oh, come on, mate. It's quite hard to film with him on camera now. <laughs> 
he, he literally loves it. Like I said in the car, he's been a really, really good guy in the car. He's adapted well to the car. And um, yeah, I mean, in terms of if you have an Abarth and you're thinking about getting a dog and you're worried that, you know, is the car going to be a bit too rough for your dog? It's not. I'd say just get a nice dog seat for him and he'd be living the dream. And one of the things I remember, if you guys watched um, Abarth King, and I'm still blown away by the response from Abarth King, guys, so thank you so much. One of the things I said I wanted to kind of enjoy the more simpler things in life. And I mean, look at this. This is, this is the simpler things in life. And I will say it has made a world of difference to, like when I'm out and about anyway, it's made a world of difference to how I'm feeling. Whether he'd be ready to go on something like a road trip, I don't think so just yet. I think he's still too young and I think it would give me more stress and it would probably stress him out as well. So I really want to do a road trip with my wife is going somewhere in the car and with all the stuff that's going on, what are you doing? With all the stuff that's been going on with kind of COVID and, and all that stuff, it's made it really difficult. So I was planning on doing a road trip in a car, I don't know what car yet, um, to Monaco, for example. Very similar to what I did with Joe at the beginning of the pandemic. Um, but this time around doing it with my wife because it would be lovely to do. And um, unfortunately, in the last couple of weeks, what are you doing? In the last couple of weeks, the France has then gone into that 14 day quarantine list. So it makes it very difficult to plan stuff. So we're looking at a plan B for countries, I guess, that are not in this kind of um, quarantine list. And at the moment, Italy isn't. So. It would be super cool if I could take something like the 695 70th Anniversario to somewhere like Como, Lake Como. Um, I would love to do that, kind of go through Lake Como, then do a bit of Germany and all that kind of stuff, maybe a bit of Switzerland. So I need to firm up some plans, so I don't know if I'll still have the Abarf then. I'm Hopefully I will. And if I don't have the Abarf, then I need to figure out if I, if I can get another car from somebody else to do the road trip in. Look at him, he loves it, absolutely loves it. Um, and the other thing that um, people have asked me is, you know, what am I replacing the 4C with? And it's really difficult at the moment, if I'm honest with you, to give you an answer. First of all, because I've got the 695, it's a great opportunity for me to save some money. So I'm not buying anything at the moment until the 695 goes back or I'm physically just not in a position to have a car. The other one is, do I get an Abarth, which obviously a lot of you guys would love me to get, or do I get something pretty insane? And that's all dependent by the end of the year if I get my full salary back from my current job. So there are so many variables. So at the moment, I can't really give you a full update on what's going on with my car. If that makes sense. Oh, say hi. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> See you in a bit. Come on. Well, it's safe to say I think we're both exhausted. Are we, mate? Yes. I'm tired, he's tired, he's fussing. What are you doing? Oh, here we go. Oh, right, here we are. We're back in the Abarth. I'm gonna call this the Saybelt dog seat. Aren't you? Yes. If you look down here, look how cool it is. So you've got the harness, obviously, clip that clips onto the harness. It means that he can sit there in peace on his blanket. The seats remain perfect, don't they? Yes. And he's got this little compartment. High five. Yeah, good boy. Down. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Yes, yes, yes. He's still got some excitement. I definitely think he don't need a coffee, but we do. Oh, what a car. Obviously the Monza itself sounds better uh, on a cold start. I'm not gonna rev it too much, but have a listen. Nice. And how about you? Do you like the Monza? Do you love it? Are you a fan of the car? High five. Yes, good boy. You tangled yourself up there, buddy. So yeah, he's, he's like I said, you know, he likes this car. It's not too too harsh for him. He's got his own little space to sit in. You're doing well, aren't you? Down. Good boy. <laughs> what a cutie. Off to a coffee. As you can see, someone's a little tired. And you can see how chilled out he is in the car gone and we're on a motorway we're doing just like what, what a 50 mile an hour average speed but he's so chill and we've been really lucky because some dogs get really um what's the word they get quite nervous of being in a car but from day one since we got him i, th I think the rs6 bedded him in well 
and he's been great. You know, he's been great. Now after a long walk there, he'll pass out, gives us a chance to enjoy breakfast together, and then get home. And the best part is that he'll then sleep for hours, so it gives us a bit of time. He'll give me a chance to edit this video. He'll give the wife a chance to relax, watch some TV, and chill. And then we'll do it all over again when he wakes up. But we're nearly there. One dog completely tired out. One Abarth 695, unfortunately blocked by the A1, which is also a very nice car. And uh, yeah, we've had a nice breakfast, great morning. It's time for you to get some rest, isn't it, mate? And like I said, slightly different video. I don't normally do kind of behind the scenes in my life, but why not, hey? It's 2020, post whatever you like. All right, wanna sleep? <laughs> 